All right, guys, August 1st has arrived. It is highly anticipated. We're out of July. We're past the halfway point of 2020, which I think we're all probably happy about. But wait, that doesn't even make sense. July was the seventh month. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm not wrong, but I'm not right either. That's the worst part about it. Anyway, August tw August 1st was, was highly anticipated for all Ipsy Plus subscribers for the reason that we were going to finally get to see how these new changes have been implemented, how smoothly it could go. They said for Eastern time, which is what we are, that they were opening up the add-ons, I mean the add-ons, the customization and the add-ons at 3 p.m. We were filming, we got done at about 2.20 and we said, let's go in there and um, and check and, and get everything set up because we wanted to record it, which we were able to do. We were able to record me choosing my particular bag and then looking at the customization um, add-on options as well. It was already up. So we were like, all right, let's do this. So we went ahead and did it. My mom also chose her bag. This will totally change the subscription service game, in my opinion. Ipsy Plus has, I loved it. Let me just say, I it, it will totally change everything. It will change unboxings, it will change, but for the best. Everything that I've complained about, if they keep it at this quality, everything that I've complained about has now been completely, completely rectified in a way that I didn't even realize they could do. So basically what happens is, when you pull up the screen, it tells you the two items they've already chosen for you. So you know going into it what they picked for you. So there is not any more of a surprise unless you specifically choose not to add on your customization or not to customize your, your boxes at all and just let them completely choose it, which I mean, that's still a great option. I'm so picky. If I have the option to customize, I'm going to choose to do it rather than just let it be a surprise. I know for the sake of the channel and for fun, I should just be like, you pick for me, but like, no. They chose for me a Murad face cream and two Laura Geller eyeshadow crayons. I love both of them. I love Murad. I'm fine with getting one skincare, two skincare items in a box. I don't have a problem with that. And I love Laura Geller and I'm a big fan of eyeshadow crayons. So I was very happy with those two for me. And then they give you the first choice and they give you a good amount of like, you have like a face palette to choose from and an eyeshadow palette to choose from, a couple other things. Uh, luckily, I was going fast because I wasn't sure. We really weren't sure what to expect with it. Was it gonna crash? Were people going to be flooding the server? Were the items gonna run out too quickly? That did not happen. Is that possibly because we were, we got in slightly before three when they announced it? When they announced they were going to do it? Maybe, I don't know. But it really, there was no issues with it. So Nikki was able to record on his computer and show you guys. I don't remember all the products because I was going fast trying to choose, but I did take like, especially in the middle section, I kind of took a minute to look at everything because there was a lot of options of things that I almost chose. For the first one, it was pretty easy for me. I chose the Estate Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. It's a cute little nine shadow colored palette. Um, I like Estate. I've gotten several uh, highlighters from them through Ipsy and I really like their stuff. I've never tried their eyeshadow. So I was like, heck yeah. If you give me an eyeshadow palette, that's pretty much what I'm gonna choose all, every time. So I got that. For my second item, I picked the Ciate London setting powder. Um, I love Ciate London. I'm a big fan of setting powders because even if I use, I always use liquid foundation. And even if I use a liquid foundation, I'm always gonna go in and set it with something. I think most people probably do the same thing, but um, normally I set it with a foundation on top of it. So it does have some color to it, um, but I'm fine with setting powders as well. So, and I love Ciate London. So I chose that, but they had other good options as well. I know my mom chose a brush. <laughs> She chose the face brush and it was from a brand that I know we've gotten brushes from before, but I don't remember. It's gonna be so much easier when you guys can look at the screen that Nikki recorded and I am i don't have that in front of me currently. So I'm just trying to recall it from memory and my memory, my short-term memory is like awful. My long-term memory, I can remember like when movies came out and like, you know, what year, what day stuff happened, but like that, my short-term memory is awful. So I apologize. But anyway, a lot of good choices for the second option. The third choice, you had four options of things. Um, there was a there was an Ilmasqua lip gloss, like a clear lip gloss. There was a mascara. There was a um, clear brow brow gel from uh, Wonder Beauty, and then there was a uh, an eyeliner. And so that is kind of like the excess 
product, that extra product, that the filler product that we always talk about. I have no problem with that. I personally chose the eyebrow gel because I'm gonna use it the most. I have absolutely no problem with you giving me the option of a mascara and an eyeliner at the end when I've already picked out two items that I really am excited about. And you've given me two items that are really great as well. This will totally change the subscription service game in my opinion. The other subscription boxes that are on the same level as Ipsy, the boxy charms, they will have to either rise to meet it in terms of they're going to have to be super specified with their customization if they're not letting you choose your items or they're going to have to just provide really great products that everybody is going to be excited about. That is incredibly hard to do. Everybody has different prefer preferences and opinions on things and what they want. So Ipsy's kind of cracked the code in my opinion here. They, you don't get the excitement of, hey, I don't know what I'm getting. It's like opening a present. But what you do get is you're spending $25, you're getting a bag and you're getting five products that you more or less have a direct say in. Two of them they choose, but it seems like they are listening to your profile preference, preferences with those. This is the box that I've, I've culminated a box that is what I'm looking for. It is the variety of things. Each product is different. I'm not getting multiple skincare, multiple mascara, eyeshadow, eyeliner type things, unless I choose that. And that is a big deal. That's a really big deal for me. I, I feel like I have a box coming to me that I can create a full look out of. Now I may need extra products, of course, but they, they've given me stuff that I can use each product in one look and I'm not going to be, it's not going to be redundant. And that's what my mom and I were talking about after we both completed our, our customizations. Last month was rough. Um, I think a lot of people agreed that it was just a really downhill month, but it was, I feel like it's because they were working on this and, and sticking with it seemed to be, in my opinion, the right decision because if I had canceled it, then I wouldn't have gotten to experience this. And so I'm very excited about it. It went super smoothly, like I said, I don't know after three o'clock if it's going to bog down a little bit, but before three o'clock, I didn't have an issue at all. It was like, a, I don't even think it was like a four minute process. It was like a bang, bang, bang. And then after you choose all your stuff, you can choose your add-ons. They had great add-on options. I opted not to add on stuff. There were things that I think were highly, I would highly recommend. There was a Huda Beauty, uh, one of her obsessions, I think it's the mauve obsession, which I already have, and two lip glosses for $25. That palette alone is 27. The two lip glosses I think are each 20, so that's a great bundle. They just had a good amount of stuff, eyeshadow brushes, creams, serums, um, lipsticks, things that you can choose to add on. My mom spent an extra $50 in add-ons because she has less self-restraint than I do, which says a lot. But it, it, I'm so excited to see what's gonna happen. In my opinion, they have made ultimate obsolete until they do the same thing. You can go in, you can get the plus, you can choose your items, and then you can add on whatever you want to. You can easily spend your $50, but you're getting items that you absolutely want. I'm really, really excited to see how this change is going to play out in the future and how it's going to influence the other subscription services. Because I, I know I keep saying it, I sound like a broken record, but they've completely revolutionized what the subscription box was before. This is complete customization. You don't have the surprise, but you have complete control over really what you're getting more or less. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it helped. If you're thinking about Ipsy Plus, I would recommend it. I know a couple people have told me after the announcement they tried to sign back up and there is a little bit of a wait list now. If you have also gone through the customization process, what do you think of it? How do you think it went? Or were you excited about the products that were included? What did you choose? Um, I do think it's definitely going to kind of change our unboxings. Our unboxings are gonna be less exciting, <laughs> like less of like a, oh, what is it? For the plus at least, I'm not complaining about that at all. That is a great issue to have because we know what we're getting. It's gonna be more of a haul than a, an unboxing really. But still, we still plan on doing the unboxing of my mom's and mine. I can show you the add-ons she got and everything like that. Um, I think it's still gonna be fun. It's just gonna be different and it's gonna be different in a great way. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know everybody really likes to talk about Ipsy. I love to talk about Ipsy. I love to talk about the subscription services. So if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Definitely comment and tell me what you think about the changes and if you're as excited as I am about it and if you agree that this has just completely revolutionized the subscription service game. And um, if you haven't subscribed, maybe consider doing that as well. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. You stay uh, healthy and happy and girly with a dark twist.